tough questions for Germany's defense minister. Thomas de Maizière has been asked to explain why, after more than a decade developing the costly Eurohawk drone, the decision was made to axe the project two months ago. Members of his party have been quick to defend his actions. It's evident that the project began with the previous government. Responsibility for this project was started and continues to lie with many people. The German military had ordered five drones, but only one prototype exists, and that's been grounded. The Eurohawk is a German version of the American-made Global Hawk. It's the world's biggest unmanned aerial vehicle with a wingspan as wide as a passenger jet. The Eurohawk is able to stay in the air for 35 hours non-stop. Germany planned to use it as a surveillance aircraft. But the project has been fraught with problems, primarily that it couldn't be certified to fly in European airspace without an anti-collision system. Making those technical changes would cost a further $780 million, on top of the $744 million already spent. Faced with this cost, the German government cancelled the Eurohawk project in May. Thomas de Maizio admits that mistakes have been made in handling the project. Opposition parties say public funds have been wasted. They want de Maizio to resign. Things have gone so far that his only line of defense is that he didn't have his house in order, didn't know what was going on and didn't interact with those underneath him. This isn't how a minister should behave. Footage like this has drawn recent public attention. It reportedly shows a near miss between an old German surveillance drone and an Afghan passenger plane several years ago. The drone lacked anti-collision technology. The manufacturers of the new Eurohawk drone insist the costs and challenges presented by the government are exaggerated. They remain committed to the project. For the German Chancellor, Angela Merkel, the controversy surrounding one of her most trusted cabinet ministers is a huge embarrassment. Germany is only two months away from a general election. A scandal like this, especially involving public funds, definitely won't be well received by German voters. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera, Berlin.